Greetings, we're on. We're live. Cut in. called a cow hitch so it's essentially like a girth hitch to start with and then you've got two half hitches on it and yeah So I'll do a, this is a Klemhorst. So try it like that. Get a loop, wrap it round down, and you want to dress the knot so you're actually when you pull it backwards, it levers that and it grabs. And you should be able to pull that, and the pulley should tighten it. Then you let it go and it grabs. Like that. I'll do another Clem heist. Grab. And that's it. When you're putting pressure on a tree to pull it over, you always listen to the person felling the tree. So we'll just leave it like this for now. Just if I go like that, it just means put weight on it. And then I'll say stop and then just hold it there. I'll do the scarf cut, I'll start to do a back cut and I'll make sure you're alright and I'll just get you to leave it the way it is until I start pointing again. When I start pointing again that means I want to pull it over, I mean pull like buggery. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but never release the weight. Once you're applying pressure on a tree you should never let the tree go back otherwise it can snap out and go back the other way. Yeah, yeah. All good? So, I wouldn't normally do this, but I just want to show how to cut a tree down. You essentially want to get the diameter of the tree, and one third of that will be the scarf cut, or the gob, or the wedge. Cut that out, making sure the hinge wood, which is this wood here, this section here, that never gets cut, or shouldn't get cut, always remains intact. You never want to overcut these lines here. So I want to cut down and make sure this hinge wood is perfect. And then 10% of the diameter of the tree is what I want to leave for hinge wood. And then the back cut is a 10% of the diameter a step up. This tree is quite fat. I'll probably end up doing a quarter cut, which means going to the not as safe side and cutting a quarter of this out and then going to the safe side and finishing the cut by cutting the last quarter out. Guys up there will be pulling the rope They'll do what I ask, and they won't pull too early, and they won't release the weight. Check it from the other side too. It's a little bit of a little bit here. I'm not really concerned about that with this fell. But I want to make sure that line along here, this line along here, is unbroken and dead flat. That's what it's going to hinge on, this bit here. So once it, I've cut out the scarf, you can never walk out the front. No one should be out there. So you walk around the back, take a bit of a wide berth. So considering it's a slightly fatter tree than my bar 
I'm going to do a quarter cut, which means I'll cut this corner and then I'll go to the other side and cut the other quarter. One wedge in here. It's really just to hold it for now. So this is the result you want. Want a nice straight hinge across here. Did the quarter cut in. That was pretty good. Came in for the back cut. And I'll be honest, I just dipped down a little bit low there. Um, always chop these off. And anyone in the Arborist game will probably know something else I did, but I'm not gonna tell you that. And this is the key. Whenever you finish cutting a tree down, you've got to walk along the trunk. There's something about it. Well, that'll go through the chipper, I reckon. Yeah, yeah right up until this bit. Alright, eh? we'll see how that goes.
trying to bring them in the food, um, the, the she oaks. Yeah. But there are too many. Never use a climber saw on the ground. Oh, man. <laughs>